Hi. Let's see how a differentiator uh, can be constructed using an op amp. So here is a circuit diagram for a differentiator, which will be having uh, uh, actually two resistors and two capacitors here. And if you look into the basic differentiator, you will find only one resistor in the feedback and one capacitor in the input. But this is a bit modified circuit. What is extra over here is this feedback capacitor is an extra component and this R1 is an extra component. But ultimately, the differentiation equation here is derived as V out equal to minus RF into C1 times the differentiation of the input with respect to time. Now, to simulate this, so we use an LT spice to simulate the waveform, so the expected always differentiation gives you a spike for the square wave pulses because and uh, if you give a ramp wave as an input, it gives a square wave as an output. If you give a sine wave, it gives a cosine wave. So that's a basic the way in the differentiation works. So usually the we can simulate this differentiator using an LT spice here. So I'll be using now LT spice to construct the circuit and show you the simulation. So let's see how this uh, differentiator can be simulated. So take an op amp as a basic component here. OP07 is an op amp that I'm going to choose. And one resistor. So change the orientation as required. So okay, so let me create that again. Use the resistors and put it over here. So move this. So you need to apply to the inverting terminal. That is, the R1 is a feedback resistance that I will connect it over here. And there is one more R1. R2, two resistors required. One over here. And uh, we need a capacitor, control R to change the orientation, and one more at the feedback. That's it. So, use this to get the wave, proper wave. So, then I need a ground symbol. Use the ground symbol. So, one is over here, other is probably needed for the supply. So I'll put it over here. That's it. Okay. Then I need a voltage source. Say voltage. It's this voltage source. One over here. Other over here. That's it. Then I need a signal to be given. Signal. I need to give a signal. So use the signal in this here. Obviously, I need a ground for this as well. So, connect a ground. Place this ground now. So, use this wires to connect. So I'm going to connect all these as per the schematic given. So, basic component as I mentioned, it is only one capacitor and uh, one resistor, but it is a bit advanced uh, differentiator which uses the feedback resistance sorry feedback capacitor and uh, an input resistance here it is actually uh, c2 and r2 so usually this uh, resistor and the capacitor will give a better gain at the uh, low frequency and uh, removes the high frequency noise whenever you are operating at that high frequency okay so i'm going to 
simulate this waveform now. So here I'm going to connect this ground to all these supplies and I'm going to use this wires over here for the connection. I think something went wrong here, so let me delete this wire. An extra wire has appeared, it seems. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to use this. to the circuit now just give the values to these according to the schematic the values are 50 ohms 22 nanofarad 1k and uh, 1.1 so 50 ohms and 22 nanofarad the input 50 ohms and uh, Nanofarad, 1K, and 1.1 uh, nanofarad. 1.1 nanofarad. Okay. So these are the values and supply voltage. I need to set here. So set the supply voltage as uh, plus 12 volts sorry so 12 volts and this is uh, minus 12 volts so plus 12 volts and minus 12 volts of the supply now you need to set the signal uh, for this so right now i am going to give a uh, uh, a sine wave. I'm going to use a sine wave, or uh, let let me use a pulse first. So I'll use uh, V on as uh, two volts, and V initial is zero, and uh, I'm going to use it for let's say one kilohertz. Okay. So time delay I need to give. So time delay I'm going to give one pico, and rise time is one pico, and this is also one pico and uh, t on time for which the so one kilohertz means this 0 0.5 milliseconds and i mean time period is one milli number of cycles uh, say let's say for 20 cycles we are going to use it okay so let me try this once so let's simulate this I can also label it actually, so use this labeling here and label it as V in over here and V out over here, V out, that's it, okay, so V in and V out will label it. So rest of the circuits remain, working principle is similar like how our amplifier works but it's used again in any multi configuration okay so let me simulate this wave so i'm going to simulate it for let's say one uh, around uh, maybe around uh, 20 millisecond or let's say 50 millisecond 50 milli okay. can give a random so yeah something i think uh, yes okay so let me now label it so this is my input that i'm giving almost two volt pit to pit i'm giving and uh, here is my output so now this is the output that i'm putting so you can just uh, this you can see the way in which the result appears so just look at this at the section. 
see this is how it appears so i can even uh, uh, change the signaling format so this is how the uh, wave is generated for this given simulation given voltage levels you can now change the different uh, parameters for the input and you can redo the uh, the simulations okay so you can give different values so you can give also sine waves now so i can give you sine wave of say uh, one kilo and all these are not required now so let me just uh, so give a sine wave okay simulate this now you see it's it's now changed okay so this is the result that we're getting very easily you can just make out what is happening for the v in and v out you can also see for a particular uh, right left click here so you get exactly what and you get a cursor over here you can place a cursor wherever you need okay you can move this cursor one you can move the cursor wherever you need so you will get the values for this okay so you can verify the circuit so this is what uh, uh, you, we can verify with the differentiator so 